psychologist, sexologist, and author. I said sexologist, sexologist. Her dedication and contribution to society are truly commendable. Her efforts to create a platform that makes psychology accessible and understandable to the public by addressing important personal and social issues such as domestic violence is truly remarkable and admirable. Allow me to welcome to the podium Dr. Estella Snyder. I am so humbled and so honored to be here tonight to support such an important cause like domestic violence. The month of October is the month in which we recognize domestic violence. Yet, today is November the 3rd and we're still here talking about domestic violence. Because domestic violence does not only occur in October, sadly it occurs throughout the year. So we need to continue our support to build shelters so that the children, the wives, the husbands, or anybody who has been a victim of domestic violence, and especially by somebody that they thought loved them, is a terrible thing to happen. And they need to have a place to recover, to grow stronger, and to overcome the trauma of domestic violence. I'm just going to tell you like a very brief story of a little girl that I treated. She was sexually abused by the boyfriend of her mother. The man gave her herpes. He's now in jail and I'm happy that he will hopefully be in jail for the rest of his life. It was several months that I treated this girl and I had to go under the desk to be able to talk to her because that was the only place that she felt safe. It's not fair that these things happen. But I don't want to take you know, too much of your time with going uh, through with speeches, but I just want to tell you something about domestic violence. People who are abused, generally, they still claim themselves. They take the blame because they want to feel that they have some control. They want to feel that only if they would change the way they look, the way they behave, the way they talk, that maybe the abuser won't abuse them anymore. However, that's what children do also with their parents. It's very hard for children to take, to blame their parents and to put the responsibility on the parents who are abusers the wives and the husbands who are abusers, because that means no control whatsoever. And what we don't realize is that the abusers abuse because they want to have all of the control. And actually, a lot of times, the person that abuses is the child within themselves who was abused as a child. So anyway, uh, I don't want to take much more of your time because I want to give the time to the courageous Taylor Armstrong, who is a survivor of spousal abuse, and who unfortunately also most probably her daughter witnessed the terrible things that is not fair. Thank you very much all for being here tonight. I'm very humbled and honored for being the honoree, and please continue the support. Thank you.
glad to ask Sabrina Wiseman to please come to the stage.